All right. Um, you're in a really good position right now. This is all about comfort and stability. The Six of Pentacles is about generosity, okay? Being very helpful with the people around you, as well as being able to come to other people whenever there's a problem, whenever you feel like, um, <clears throat> whenever you've hit like a, a little bit of a snag in the road, there's always somebody around that you can, you know, pick their brain. You can ask for advice. You can, uh, they'll come to your rescue pretty much. And I feel like, you know, you guys are also in a position where you are giving this out as well. Okay. So it's very reciprocal. Um, I'll ask for help today. And then in the future, if you need help, I'll definitely come to your rescue. So I definitely feel in the work environment, there's reciprocity. There's also, you know, uh, camaraderie and there's that sense of we're all in this together. No one is being, um, calculating or keeping scores or keeping tabs or, you know, being uh, selfish or vindictive. So you have a, a group of people in your work environment that you really jive with, that you really get along with, and you really, really trust, and they, vice versa, really trust you. And because of that, there is a sense of stability and familiarity where you are at, okay? Uh, what I have in the middle of the spread here is the devil. And the way that this comes out, I don't see it as, you know, drugs, alcohol, dependency, or issues that we need to be aware of. But I almost feel like it's a situation, it's like the devil that we know, okay? And the reason I say the devil that we know is there was a major, major turning point that just happened for you guys. And I feel almost like rather than taking the, the path that is um, unpaved, that is unknown, that is... Um, that, that could potentially bring a lot more opportunities for you. I feel like many of you have taken a little bit more of a safe route. And you know, you have to do what you have to do in order to survive. So whatever you feel you had to, to make a decision on, or whatever decision or choice you feel like you had to go with, that's very personal. And that is something that you had to do at that moment in time because, you know, you feel like it was the best choice. But what I'm also sensing is don't let pa opportunities pass you by because you're afraid of changes and because you're stable or comfortable or familiar where you are at, okay? Because this is a false sense of security that's in the picture here. And I feel like there were decisions that came before it. And I feel like you might have turned your back, turning your back here, literally turning your back on this situation that could have panned out really well for you and looking at something else that was very familiar it's like the devil that you know and and with the devil that you know that sense of comfort familiarity it always pulls you back in okay so be careful um be a little bit careful about that because in life we are supposed to grow we're supposed to put ourselves in new situations and we're also, also always supposed to learn from our new exp um, experiences and learn from our environment and you know not be so risk adverse that we cling on to situations especially if they have you know passed their expiration date okay so i feel like across the board for all the signs that i've done readings for the month of february it was a very much uh, a turning point type of a month what is not working anymore? Let's take a different path. What have we tried to sweep under the rug? All of those things are coming to light. And so I feel for many of you guys, you want to make sure you explore all your options that are available rather than sticking to the tried and, tried and true, okay? Um, there is somebody that is coming in here and this person has a very big offer on the table for you But I almost feel like you might be turning them down. Okay, well, I have here the knight of pentacles The prince of pentacles in this deck is the knight of pentacles This is an earth sign a taurus a virgo or a capricorn and I feel like with this card uh, It's almost like the universe is trying to tell you that the offer still stands. This person is still available. If you choose to come back to this person, if you choose to accept this offer, if you choose to um, return to it, this offer is still there. This person really, really appreciates you. This is a person that is very, um, they're not a flamboyant show 
showy type of a person. They're not going to, you know, exclaim to you how much they love you and buy you flowers and shower you with gifts and, you know, um, make like declarations about how great they make you, uh, how great you make them feel. But this is someone whose energy is very stable, very grounded, very truthful, faithful, honest, and they do want you know, the whole nine yards and the relationship and, you know, and, and see where things go. And if you have turned your back on this person, and I feel many of you might have, many of you might have, you know, um, pushed this person away, kept them at arm's length, or, you know, you might have kept communication in a very casual type of way. And you might have just kind of like kept them on the periphery of your life, mainly because you might not feel the same way. But the universe is saying that this offer still stands if you choose to go for it. Okay. Uh, what I have as well is another situation here where there's a lot of start, stop, start, stop, like um, confusion as well. And what I have is an air sign. So this is an Aquarius, a Gemini or a Libra. Um, the energy came out in the reverse position. So I feel like communication with this person has not always been great. You say one thing, they think you mean another. They say one thing, you think they mean another. Uh, lack of common goals, common interests, as well as with the chariot. Common life purpose. Different interests, different lifestyle. Um, they might want to, you know, travel and explore the world. You might be a little bit more career and home oriented, okay? Or vice versa. It's like your life trajectories or your life goals, your life purpose, your life paths um, might not have been the same where you're walking along the same path, okay? And so for whatever reason, I feel like the relationship or the union or the interaction with this person, if it's not a romantic person, has been very stop and go, okay? It's almost like your life paths and this person's life path weaves in and out. It's like, you know, the, the two strands of the chromosomes. It weaves in and out. So there are times where you might run into this person you come in, you meet, things are great, and then you kind of part ways, and then you come back together. So it's like it weaves in and out. And it doesn't promise too much stability, but it does bring about that sense of excitement. Um, I also feel as if, you know, your life trajectories, you're, you guys are really not on the same page. And so it's really hard to try to figure out how to build something solid or something stable in this relationship. And so it could be a union, you know, where is indicative of the devil. It can bring that sense of excitement, that sense of attraction, but in the long run, it's not really fulfilling your, all of your needs, nor is it fulfilling, you know, everything that you want in a relationship. It's not really meeting all of your expectations, okay? And what I have as well, I have a fire sign here. So this is a Sagittarius, an Aries, or a Leo. And I feel like this there's a, there's a sense of, you know, this person. If you're dealing with this person, um, fire sign, Sagittarius, Aries, Leo, sun, moon, or rising, their energy is very expansive. They have a lot of... Um, I'm seeing somebody that is really fun to be around they're they're genuine okay so there's a sense of excitement expansion they want to they come to you with a lot of ideas and i almost feel like i i almost feel like there are some things happening in their life where they feel like a kid again they're very hopeful they're coming to you beaming and excitedly talking to you about all of these plans all of these ideas all of these things that they want to do and it's almost like, yes, at first, you know, at, at, when they first come in, it just seems like all of these plans are kind of um, newly hashed plans. So they're, they, they don't really pass the common sense test, but you indulge this person because you want to be supportive. 
and you do ask follow-up questions, but you're not, you know, planning to poke any holes in their theories, or you're not planning to, you know, uh, dampen, like put a damper on things for them, even though some of these plans, some of these projects, some of these ideas um, haven't really... It's, it's almost like they haven't done the preliminary research yet. So they're giving you something that's half-baked, but they're excited about it and has potential. And I feel like, you know, when push comes to shove, if it's something that they really want to get off the ground, they're going to be able to do that. And I feel like there's somebody coming to you with just a lot of plans, a lot of things on their agenda, a lot of things on their mind, a lot of income generating opportunities, a lot of things that they want to get off the ground possibly even asking for a partnership or possibly even asking if you want to be on board with them in love as well as in um in some type of a business venture okay so you have some really really good energy that are coming through and i feel like you know the the rest of this month the focus here should be on things that are stable that are um not the things that are stable, the people that are stable, the people that are tried and true, the people that are reliable. Yes, there's a lot of um, people coming through that can give you, you know, new ideas. But once again, if these plans are half-baked, if they're half-processed, if the foundation hasn't been laid out for it yet, then you might be the one to come in or you might need to be the one to come in to sort of lay the solid foundation for it, okay? So um, at the beginning, when I was shuffling out the spread, one of the things that I saw is um, I saw this podium and it's like it's a layered podium. It has number one, two and three. So first, second and third place. OK, so the the first place is in the middle. It's highly elevated. The second and third places are on the side. It's a little bit uh, less elevated. And um, I see this little boy, he has a, a little, um, what are those like, um, he, he has like a medal on him and he's standing in the first place. And the second and the third places are vacant. And then I see like, you know, the, the flashes of the camera, he's beaming, he's so proud of himself. He's like a seven or eight year old boy. And he's just, uh, he's got like a lot of medals on him. And um, the, the second and third places are vacant. And so what that denotes to me, and in conjunction with the spread too, is I almost feel like you're in top shape, you're in top form. No one can even, you know, have a fraction of the determination that you do in order to get things off the ground, in order to, to win something. So it's almost like you're so far ahead and, and just ahead and beyond all of your competitors okay um and what that means is that's why i feel like the universe is pushing you for a lot more it's pushing you to step out of your comfort zone is pushing you and really telling you you have to roll with it you have to take risks you have to do what is you know not tried and true but what is really stirring your passion it's almost like you're coming into a sense of your own capabilities if you have had self-doubt before you're no longer struggling with with body image issues self-doubt uh, competency issues am i good enough am i smart enough am i capable am i going to be able to do it you're at a point where things are really you know it's like coming out of the gate and running to a, a, a um, it's like dashing out of the gate and having a really, really strong running start, like a running head start where you're leaving people in the dust. And that is why the second and third places aren't even occupied. It's like you're so far above and like so far ahead and so far beyond your competitors that there's no reason why you shouldn't try something put plans into motion, put things into, um, try to materialize things, try to manifest things. And whatever it is, whatever ideas that you've had, I feel like you're able to roll with it. 
Okay. For some of you, you have some really good ideas and you're trying to find the right backers. You're trying to find the right financiers. The six of pentacles is usually money coming through from an institution. Okay. Getting a loan, getting some seed money, getting some startup funds, getting something off the ground. Um, so that you can, you know, make your dreams a reality. And then I also feel for others as well, um, there's new job opportunities that somebody is going to tell you about and possibly like a boss or somebody that you work with or somebody that you work for. And they're telling you, hey, this position is opening up, you know, possibly by the summertime. You need to put in for it because we really like you. And you're just like, uh, I'm comfortable where I'm at right now. Things are a little bit chill. They're, you know, they're, they're laid back and I'm not working too hard. I like the work that I do, but I feel like things are going to change. Whatever that's comfortable, there's going to be a little bit of a shakeup, not in a disastrous way, but it's a shakeup that might not make the situation as comfortable. And so if there are things coming through between now and the May time frame, please go for it because I feel like you're kind of being pushed right now gently to go in a specific direction and to take the, the path that is, uh, that hasn't been taken in the past because of fear, because of self doubt, because of like that sense of familiarity. Do I really want to venture out and go to a new environment? Like, you know, or like stick with the devil that I know. And so I feel like the new universe is nudging you right now. And this has been happening, I'm sensing, since December, okay? And when May rolls around, you're going to start to feel like it's not only a nudge anymore, it's going to be a shove, okay? So I want you to be a little bit more aware of that. Just keep it in the back of your mind. If the signs are pointing you in a specific direction, really listen to it, okay? Don't drown it out with, oh, but things are so comfortable right now. Things are really comfortable in this situation. For some of you, honestly, it could be a relationship type of a situation where uh, there's somebody here that's giving you a lot, okay? They're, they're devoted. They're giving you a lot of attention. They're making their intentions known to you. And I feel like it comes so easily that you might take it for granted, for example. And you might go for somebody who's a little bit more aloof, who's a little bit more unattainable, who's a little bit more emotionally unavailable. Mainly because it might pose a little bit more as a challenge. Okay? And then for others, I feel like, you know, staying in a stable, very, very stable relationship. And that's great, but there's like new people, flirtations and things like that coming into the picture because I feel like, you know, you're, you're seen as a prize. Okay. In somebody's eyes. And I feel like one person sees you as the whole package. They see you as the prize. Like I will never find somebody like the Scorpio or I will never find somebody as kind, as loving, as generous, as intelligent as amazing as a Scorpio, whereas another person sees you as a prize, as a trophy, as like something that they want to attain. And then once they attain it, they might lose interest in it. So I see these two opposite energies coming through from the people around you, where someone sees you for your true potential, and then the other person sees you as a conquest. And if you're not careful, if you're not careful and you go after the choice where the other person sees you only as a conquest, you're going to miss out on some on the person that sees the real you, that sees the real deal. And that, you know, it, it, it can be. I just feel like it, the, the energy for this month is very pivotal. OK, it's very much about decisions. It's very much about looking at the right value in the right thing, calling things out for what they are. I'm staying here because it's comfortable, even though I know that I should be doing something else. Okay. I'm staying with this person because it's comfortable, even though my heart is elsewhere. Or 
I'm interested in this person because you know there there is a pool here. They're they're not making themselves readily available. It's exciting, but they might just see you as a conquest. Whereas you're missing out on an opportunity here where somebody sees the real you. 